Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm here to show you all of the projects that I made and the goodies that I picked up from the Amy Tangerine Better Together class that she taught out here um, in Honolulu. I had so much fun. The class was uh, this past Saturday. I went with a few girlfriends. Um, when we found out that Amy Tan was coming back, we totally booked our class about a month ago and I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got. So when we first got there, we got our class kit and then we got a free stamp. Amy Tan did this class with Ari, who owns Sakura La La, which is an online um, shop. And she has her own set of stamps and then a lot of you know stationery as well as other products that she gets from um, Japan. But when we first arrived and we checked in, we were given this stamp right here. And it is from her spring 2016 collection and it's super cute. So I was really excited for that. So we got that as a freebie. And then our class kit came with this brochure which showed the three layouts as well as the traveler's notebook that we were gonna get started. So this was so much fun. Amy Tan is probably the sweetest person ever and she's so adorable. So I'm gonna show you the products that came in the kit and then I'll show you my layout and then I'll show you the other things that I picked up at the pop-up shop. Okay, so in the kit there came um, a set of the die cut shapes from Better Together. And this is everything that was in there. And please ignore my nails, they need to be redone. <laughs> and there was also this set of rubber shapes. Now, as you can see, I only have one left because we, oh there's not a design, um, we used all of them except one and it felt it felt really good to use them she mentioned in her class that it's always better to use what you have than to collect it because I am notorious for um, buying supplies and thinking they're so pretty that I don't ever want to use them but you know it's best to use it and keep it for yourself and that way you can always keep it then you know see it on a layout or a project or anything so anyways, um, also in the kit, we got the washi booklet from Maggie Holmes. Um, and I think this is Bloom. Yeah, it is Bloom. So, and this was really, really, really pretty. I don't know why it's not focusing. Focus. There you go. No, it's sticking. Hold on. Okay. So there's those and then there's these with the shapes and I love these. So we got that. We got two sets of stickers. We got the white alphas and this one is thick and thin. And then we also got these, you and me. Have these. And there's another, another sheet with other words, but I'm not gonna open that. Okay, and then we also got rub-ons and we use some for for the uh, projects that we made in class. Really cute. We got the overlays and it came with the gold Polaroid frames as well as these like acetate overlays. We used some of those. And we also got a thing of washi, her new washi. And these are so pretty and I love thin washi. Okay, so the layouts that we made, this was the first one. So they told you to bring, you know, quite a few pictures that you'd want to scrapbook. And I opted to bring older pictures. So these are pictures that I've always wanted to put on a layout and I just never did. You know, the whole box of pictures that we all, we all have <laughs> with pictures that we hope we're gonna make a layout on. So these are old, older, and I'm so glad that I, I brought them because now they're in a layout and I can just add it to my book, so. This is, I'm trying to get it all in frame here, but not working. So that's one of them. This is the second one that we made, I think. This one. And this was um, from that, uh, let's see, the foam thicker sheet. I think that was the one that was behind the other one that was showing. And then there's the white foam thickers. And then this came from the die cuts. And this was from the overlay. And this was from the... Um, the rubber shapes from the Maggie Holmes collection and then the rub-on. Nope, that's an acetate, sorry. Where's the rub-on? Oh, here. On this side, I'll turn it upside down so you can see. There's a, one of the rub-ons. And those are so much fun to use. Okay, so there was that layout. 
And then this one, I need more of this paper in my life. This is, here, I'll try to pick you guys up. This is Maggie Holmes paper, and it kind of looks like washi tape. It's been, you know, torn and then made into like a, a plus sign, but super cute. This is like an acetate overlay and then some of the washi from the Maggie Holmes um, booklet, then more rub-ons. There's a rub-on and then from the die cuts and of course the thickers. So this is actually missing something and I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's, there was a die cut that was there, but I'll have to find it. Okay, put you back down. All right, so those were the three layouts and I got so much done in the amount of time that we did it. It's so funny because when I'm scrapping by myself at home, it takes me like three hours to do one layout. And I did three layouts in the amount of time on top of, you know, talking and having fun and, and all that. So this was the last thing that we worked on. This was towards the end, so I didn't really do too much in it. Uh, I just put the, the thicker, I backed this thicker with a, a piece of the cardstock that we got in our kit and then used this foam thicker heart. And I ended up bringing my watercolor set. So I kind of watercolored on the pages and then glued my, um, a little, acid, what is that? It's not, yeah, I guess it is acetate, like an acetate die cut, I guess you could say. And then used the bottom strip of one of the scrapbook papers and then, and then the two washi tapes. That's what it looks like, but it doesn't want to focus for me today. There it is. So yeah, and look at this. I had her sign it. Ah. So much fun so I'm going to hopefully finish finish that <laughs> and get it started okay so like I said um, during the class Ari had a pop-up shop and I picked up a few things there was so many other things that I wanted but I didn't get it I was good um, every year well not every year I guess to my knowledge this is the second year that they have collaborated and did an exclusive Hawaii stamp I got the one last year and then I picked up the one for this year and this is it you can see me, hey. Um, but yeah, this is all smiles. Aloha, you are my sunshine, love this place. Hi. This really cute um, flower cluster, which actually matches um, the flower in her set, like the rub-on. trying to find it. Oh no, not the rub-on. I keep saying it's a rub-on and it's not a rub-on. But this, the overlay, it it matches that. Isn't it, isn't it cute? Okay, really on. But um, so you get little icons and my favorite favorite icon if this would focus for me, please My favorite icon of course is the bikini because that's adorable and the hearts. I love the little cluster of hearts There's paint splatters this leaf. I know there's a name for it. I just don't know what it is But yeah, this is a really cute set and I love it So I cannot wait to use it and now that I'm doing my video. I can totally use it. So I got that stamp set I picked up this one. This is from um, their spring 2016 collection, and it's just the animals. And I thought they were really, really cute, and I want to use them in my planner. Because why not? <laughs> They're so cute. So there was that set. And where's my other set? Oh, there was this one. I have been wanting this for a while. These are the alphas. And again, oh, this was fall 2015 collection. I've wanted these. I want to, I love how Kelly Perky, she stamps on her photos in white pigment ink. So that's what I'm going to try with these. So those were the stamp sets that I picked up. They had a traveler's notebook for sale. There was a second class after the class that I took. It was like a water, a water coloring, water brushing script class. I didn't take it. I just did the first, the first session, but this, I guess, came in their kit, but she ended up, um, having extra so she gave us the opportunity to purchase some so of course I did and I picked up her new roller stamp and these are what um, they say or it says excuse me I like that you and me equals me That's adorable. and I got the rubber shapes for her and then well, not for her from her collection since those are different from the Maggie Holmes one and then I picked up a set of the clear stickers and they're really, really cute. And there's you and me equals we again, which is super, super cute. You get a lot on here, and I especially like those donuts. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, I found some washi tape. She had, they had a bunch of washi, but I was behaving. I only got the ones that I um, thought that were, you know, different and couldn't really find anywhere. 
So I got this one, which is adorable. And then I got this one. And um, it has like, if you could kind of see it there, focus there. It's got the hula girls, it's got the burger, and then the drink, and then um, the Marianne's. And I picked up this. Oh, I saw it on the rack and I grabbed it. It's a stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn and I've been wanting this. And then I got another water brush. I have several of them, but the only reason why I got this is because it's a broad tip. And I guess I've just never seen it. I guess, well, I guess I never looked. I didn't know it existed. Let's just put that away. So I'm gonna open it so y'all can see. But, so it's a broad tip. And I like it. So I got that. And a few more things. I picked up some of these pens. They're the Friction, um, what are these? Friction Slim, Friction Ball Slim. And I picked up these in four colors. And it's erasable, and they were $1.50 each. So I was really stoked about that. Those, and then last, but certainly not least, are these adorable Friction Stamps. And they're just like the re-inkers. Not the re-inkers, self-inking. I don't know how to explain it. But they're these. And they have little pictures and shows you what they are. So I got the star, the, the wine glasses, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. And then I'll show you the rest. And then I got these. I got the fork and the spoon, the beer, <laughs> the cloud, and then the present. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Um, I had so much fun. It was a blast. If you guys are out here or if you have local scrapbook stores and you find out that Amy Tan is going to be in your area, I strongly, strongly suggest that you try to take the class because it's a lot of fun and it's nice to get away and craft with your crafty friends and you guys know that. But anyways, um, that is all I've got today. I hope you guys are having a great week. It's Wednesday, my day off. So I've got to go get my children from school and then back to hopefully craft before basketball. So I will talk to you all soon and have a great week. Bye.